We're live right now inside the InfoWars News Center in Austin, Texas. And the big question everybody's asking right now is, will Donald Trump be impeached as the Republican leadership in Congress, as well as Ann Coulter and others, say it's time to impeach the president. Well, InfoWars has done the research, we've looked at the facts, and we're going to break down what he's actually done versus what the Republican establishment and the Democratic establishment say he's done. The minute Trump does something wrong, we're going to tell you. Him saying arrest WikiLeaks is the biggest load of horse manure I ever heard. WikiLeaks got you elected. Exposing criminal activity. That said, there's not much more to criticize Trump on but Sessions and his weird reefer madness behavior. But, but, but Trump is a real president getting the stock market going, defending the border, bringing back sovereignty, killing TPP, carbon taxes, the list goes on and on. That's why the globalists hate him. That's why we're supporting him. But look at this headline. As Trump talks DACA deal with Democrats, GOP leaders try to reassert control. We'll show you a headline in a minute dealing with this, but here's the facts. Yesterday, Breitbart, who we love, comes out and runs the headline that Trump's going to agree to bring back DACA, and then hours later Trump goes, I never said that, where's the proof? It's fake news. CNN said it too. CNN said, oh, he's going to do it. He said, I always said, Congress has to pass laws. What Obama did with DACA is illegal. I would legalize people that have been here for decades and who have jobs and, and who are in college or who are in businesses if they came here as kids and they can prove they're part of society, we'll fast track them. But we're not going to just say you've been deported 10, 15, 20 times, one guy 40 something times, and, and you just say you're from the United States with no proof, we're just going to legalize you. They claim that's KKK or whatever. So Trump's been completely reasonable. In fact, a little liberal, a little Democrat about it, because mainline Republicans say, we don't care if you're you know, uh, Mary Poppins. You weren't born here and you're here illegally. Get the hell out. Trump's like, no, if you can prove it, fine. You know, reasonable. He's a pragmatist. That's why what he does makes so much sense. So now the Republicans all gang up and say that he's going to do this. The Democrats lie and say he's going to do it, and then here we are the next day, he still hasn't come out and said he'll sign an executive order for DACA doing what Obama did. I'm glad to see there's an outpouring of folks that are upset about this, but that shows political energy, but it also shows major media manipulation. So again, the facts are you've got Ann Coulter and the Republican Party, and I'm not against Ann Coulter, but I mean, you know, she said the Japanese ought to be thankful for Fukushima because radiation is good for you. Well, I guess targeted at cancer cells, lady, but, but not when you're breathing the stuff in and it's killing you. I mean, I mean, give me a break. It's like saying being hit by a Mack truck or shooting yourself in the head with a 45 is good for you. So she's now pushing this to get little political points like, I'm the holier-than-thou Republican. I'm the holier-than-thou conservative. And I'm up here on the mountain like Moses and just look at Trump down there. You know, who doesn't want impeachment now? This asshole has totally screwed everybody over. That's what they're pushing. It isn't about Trump. He's a nationalist. He's a populist. The globalists want to kick him out of office. They want to set him up as a Russian agent. They want to remove him because he is screwing over the two parties that had a monopoly of power, because he is breaking up the power structure, because he is destabilizing their operation, because he is disruptive to their criminal activities, because he banned all lobbyists and actually delivered on it something no one's ever done. So again, this is all a hoax to kill Trump's support. He was betrayed by the Republicans on tax cuts, on Obamacare repeal. Of course, they wrote it. That's why you Democrats are idiots supporting it. And now he's there smartly, not letting them shut down the government. He didn't create all this debt. So they can lower our Standard & Poor's and Moody's rating and bring us into a depression just like 29. In fact, his cunning is amazing, and that's why he says he's modeling himself after Andrew Jackson, the last president 150 plus years ago to pull something like this against them. You want divided powers? You want separation of powers? You want a government for the people? You see all the evidence with the economy up, even though he hasn't delivered on a lot of the promises, because people know he's trying to unchain America and end this feudalist model. Let's go in here. Owen Schroyer is live right now with Roger Stone. We're getting into a lot of key videos, breaking down a lot of key information. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and go in here. Millie Weaver, you yeah, want to pop in? Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to get in on this. Yes, get in because, on it. Here, stand know, right here. So we'll have Darren McBreen. <laughs> oh, leave him up there. We'll have Darren McBreen, and, and uh, we'll have uh, we'll have uh, we'll have Roger Stone right in the background. Go ahead. Yeah. Here, here, Millie, come on over. Well, basically, I just wanted to talk about how silly Ann Coulter and some of these Republicans are being whining and saying that Trump is somehow betraying them and that, you know, he's totally stepping away from the party line. Total drama people, queen behavior. Exactly. But most people If he realize, signs on, if he signs on to DACA when he said he won't without it being passed by Congress, then he's betrayed us. But them nebulously claiming in negotiations that he's eating babies or whatever is not true. Exactly. And I like to think of it... The tactics he's using is kind of like a sidewinder. It's a snake that is swerving like this, but he's still going straight in a straight path. And what he's essentially trying to do with this whole DACA deal is what he's trying to do is he's trying to get negotiations open so that he can get his budget for the border wall. He knows that the Democrats and these insiders like John McCain, who's on the Republican side, they're going to do everything they can to prevent him from getting his border security budget in to build the wall, just like they did with Obamacare. Exactly. They know he's already starting to build the wall, uh, Millie. They know he really wants to follow his agenda. They admit Trump's yes. truthful. That's why he's so evil. He's not Machiavelli. That's why he's bad. He's already gotten the 1.6 million jobs, the $4 trillion in the stock market, the $400 million in new jobs. He's already done all the other stuff. Executively, he's saying, I don't mind people that were born or, or came here young, can prove it. He's saying, we're not going to follow Obama's executive plan. And he's been saying in tweets, I'm not doing it. I'm not agreeing. But they keep saying he is to erode it's, his base. It's essentially allowing yourself to lose the battle to win the war. Think about it. DACA has 800,000 dreamers. However, there are 11 million illegal aliens in the country right now. So if he's going to need a bigger budget for border security to get a lot of the illegals out of the country, the ones that are causing the problems, he needs that legislation. He needs that law passed. He needs the budget for the border wall. Well, bottom line so is it's, it's the, a give and take. He already introduced bills to do this. They've all blocked him, Millie. Exactly. Good point. You know, we got Roger Stone and Owen Schroyer live right now. And Alex, I got this. At Infowars.com, forward slash show, breaking a lot of big news. Last uh, last night I was watching on Twitter and everybody was bitching about this because it came out, the fake news no, came out. No, it's to get pissed off. That, right, that, that uh, Trump had made a deal with the Democrats and he was going to legalize all the illegals and, and not do anything about it. And people were flaming mad. And then it comes out today, Trump puts out a tweet, the first thing I see on Drudge this morning, I never said that. And so it was a whole exercise in how, how much can we piss off Trump's base? How much can we get them to Yeah, no, they're trying to divide and conquer. And it's not that he's perfect. Even if he sells us out, which I don't right. think is happening, it's not Hillary. It's not the globalists. We need to win the midterms. Exactly. We need to move forward and, against the globalists. And doing this thing over and over again, expecting different results, that's insanity. And trying to do the classical way of buying or bribing off or, or getting the Republicans to fall in line and to help you and seeing what you can do with that. We've been seeing that we're at a stalemate here. They weren't able to get This is the American through. system for a president to be separate from parties and represent the people. This is what he said he would do 30 years ago in op-eds. Darren McBreen. Well, it's not just DACA. I think he, he's done a very good job with the legal immigration as well because he started, as you know, the merit program. 75% of illegals from Mexico are on welfare. Okay, So we want people to come into this country. We welcome immigrants, but we want them to be, yeah, to, to be at least to be able to, you know, to do some work. They have to contribute to society. But I also think with Ann Coulter, I'll play a little bit of devil's advocate, I think it is important that we hold Trump's feet to the fire and, and we make sure that he does do what we voted him in for to begin with. So, sure, yeah. sure. No, I mean, I get what she's saying, but it's yep. still a stunt. I mean, last night, you were at my house, dude. We were doing a live feed. I could have gone crazy with Trump's betraying us, but I went, where's his quote? Where's his statement? Where's his tweet? I knew it was bullshit, and it turned out it was. That's all I'm saying. Well, and, I can't tell if And, of course, all the, all the darling media is going to pick her up you know, now like she's the purest, and I'm not bashing her, but it's a total ploy. I could pull these ploys all day long, Garen. I hear you. I hear you. Well, we did reach out to Ann Coulter. Hopefully she'll be on the show pretty soon. We're waiting to hear back from her, and, and it'd be an interesting conversation. <laughs> and you know what? You know, we'll just see what happens. I think this could be rhetoric, you know, and it's just, it just, it well, seems no, like she's, she's obviously pissed heat. off. We, some said it could have been a trial balloon last night mm -hmm. to see if folks would buy the DACA thing. Yep. But it's a bunch of whining BS. Everybody knows you don't just say, oh, I go to Mexico. I was, I've been there since I'm five. 
I'm, I'm a scientist, legalize me. No one does that. It's the end of sovereignty. You guys continue for five more minutes on what you think about this. And then, of course, people can go to InfoWars.com forward slash show. Right there, you can see the war room live right now. Let's pull up her tweets. Let's see what she actually said. And then uh, cover this in an article from a Don Salazar. And culture at this point, who doesn't want Don, uh, Trump impeached? Donald Trump. As long as anyone's eligible for amnesty, everybody's getting amnesty. Coulter exactly. writes. And in that way, she is right. If you say, hey, we're going to give amnesty to some, everybody's going to come in and take amnesty for all. Well, you know, it's okay to criticize Trump, but be legitimate and make sure what you're doing isn't just overreactionary and over-exaggerating. Now, I would say that a lot of people seem to be upset over the fact that Trump wants to strike a deal, but sometimes in dealing, you have to dangle what your opponent wants in front of them in order to have them give you what you want. And more than anything, what Trump wants and needs is he wants to build the wall and he needs the budget and he needs the legislation and the laws to, to um, expand border security. I mean, think about it. Would you be willing to give up? and allow the 800,000 DACA recipients to actually have amnesty to appease the Democrats in exchange for building the wall and increasing our border security and thus thus uh, going after the problem of 11 million illegal immigrants. And, that, and that's really what I think Trump's trying to do is he's trying to weigh the balance. And if it really were that great of a deal for the Democrats, why didn't Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer take the deal? Why didn't the Democrats take the deal? Because it seems like they were backing out because they realized that the deal was actually going to help Trump and help what he's trying to do more than it would help them. All right, Brian, you got those tweets pulled up? Yeah, I mean, she's been quite busy. And remember, this is someone who is a huge supporter of Donald Trump. I, I think she helped get him elected, and she was out actually... She actually predicted he would uh, get the nominee and win. Mm -hmm. uh, and she was uh, actively campaigning in his favor. So it's just interesting to see someone who's so pro-Trump just flip really, you know, real quickly. So uh, let's see. If we're not getting a wall, I'd prefer President Pence. You know, and here's the one that, that started everything. At this point, who doesn't want Trump impeached? And then look at this. Put a fork in him. Trump, he's dead. So she's obviously upset, and there was some more up here. It might take me a second, but it was um, about building the wall. This, let's just tell Donald Trump there was a hurricane at the border. Maybe he'll rush down there with FEMA <laughs> and build a wall. I like the one above it. What's the only difference between... At a yeah. real Donald Trump and Carrot Top, Carrot Top might actually build the wall. So, again, a lot of this, I, I think this might be, uh, she's maybe trying to put pressure on him, and I think it's it's good to know that, that the conservative base will hold his feet to the fire. Well, well and, and mm. so this could have been a trial balloon that he put out just to see how people would react. True. Or this could have been the media putting out something, because, you know, they said Breitbart came out with it first. Maybe that was a deal he struck with Bannon. Hey, put this out. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the base gets energized and says, no, we don't want this, which is ex exactly what happened last night. People were putting polls up. People were uh, tweeting madly. I mean, it was everywhere last night, and then it turns out it wasn't true. So it's interesting to see, you know, what what form this is going to take after this and what deal we actually see come about. Well, because right a, now we have no deal. And that's a good lesson to learn. Don't be so reactionary. Wait till everything, until we know all the facts. And so I'm, I'm concerned as well. I was hoping the wall would be started by now. I wish there was more of the swamp drained. But uh, Trump is doing a, a very good job as far as I'm concerned. I give him a B, B plus. Uh, but there's lots more work to be done. And hopefully we can get Ann Coulter on soon. And um, she'll be on the show soon. Hopefully we'll reach out to her. Get her on, and I'd love to hear her opinion on this. Hey, let's go back to the article real quick, show people where it's at. You can go find it on Infowars.com, oh, and it's by a Don Salazar. You can probably just go back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's go back. <clears throat> There's also a good article from uh, Watson, but there it is. Ann Coulter, at this point, who doesn't want Trump impeached by Don Salazar up there on Infowars.com right now. You can also catch the end of the war room. Got another uh, hour and a half, but I guess they're halfway through the war room. Infowars.com forward slash show. They're in a little break right now, but they'll be joining them soon, so check them out. And uh, this is Rob Dew reporting for Infowars.com along with Darren McBreen. You and can we'll be hosting me. the war room next week. Oh, That's sure right. Going yeah, on uh, <laughs> let's take in a vacation. Uh, one, of course, he deserved, uh, but it, it happened right after the start of War Room. So uh, myself, Michael Zimmerman, Millie Weaver, Jake Lloyd, and Darren McBreen are all going to pile on there and do different uh, 
versions of the war room. So uh, you can catch me at Dues News. And the larger issue is, while this whole backdrop's going on, they're cutting us off, they're censoring us, they're not letting you spread the links. This is a total information war, folks, and if you're just not conscious about it, we're going to lose. If you are conscious to take action, we're going to win. Exactly, exactly. So spread the links out, infowars.com forward slash show is where you can find all of our shows streaming 24-7, and that's the way it should be. So check those out, spread the links, spread the podcasts, spread everything, because at this point, what have you got to lose except your freedom? Rob, do reporting for InfoWars.com and InfoWars, almost said InfoWars Nightly News. <laughs>